just turns that screw one screw one turn tighter. shot for Amar wow, but uh, wow, wow that's surprising didn't hit that very well yeah well man he'd love to bank this over go a couple rails and make that six ball so you should hit a little firmer make that six ball get it back in play because well, he needs those balls in play right now those two tight up balls do not yep, just hurt him he would have liked it if that six went in just now sure exactly yeah. gets two balls in play and Mars just going to bunt him around, try not to leave him an easy bank. Bank it over, kill the cue ball right there. Wants to hit this full. If it didn't hit full, and that cue ball yeah, jumps out. If it hits yeah. it full, that cue ball will stop dead. So out of our out of our viewers, I'm curious who's uh, who's the furthest away from Mountain View. Yeah, that's who's, right. Who's we got our any, long distance viewer? We got anybody in uh, East Coast. Yeah. Uh, in the chat room too, because we only have about 22 people in the chat room. Oh, okay. We have 150 people watching. We'll get in the chat room, guys. Oh, Don't we got Raf Teal in the in in Philly, from Philly. Nice. Right on. You know the Fuscos? Some great players out of Philly. Billy and Cardona. Yeah. How about Staten Island? That's where I used to be. San many Leandro. Years ago. Where's San Leandro? That's that, over that's across the bay. Okay. Not too far. Okay. I'm from Los Angeles, so. Nice. Oh, Mar just bun the ball down. I think you need one more click on it. Nope, we got it. Nice shot. Wow. Like a thief in the night. Right across from the BART station. That's nice. right. As we're... Right, two to one. As we're getting to know our audience, uh, uh, Amar is turning Just, the screws and winning a game. Yeah, made a beautiful two-rower. Beautiful two-rower. So two that's going to make it two games to one. <clears throat> Let me change the score there. Sorry about that, guys. Like Buddy Hall used to say, that's how you do that. Mm, yeah, there you go. And I uh, want to thank everybody for coming on the stream here, watching POV Pool and Fast Lenny side by side on the AZ Billiards website. And I got more coffee coming. I want to thank Mike Howerton and Jerry uh, Forsyth for, yes. for uh, accommodating us with a split screen stream for the whole week. We're very grateful for that. Thank you, thank you. And I uh, definitely want to thank all the people for coming out. Right. Mars going to take his break after Manny's break. All right. You want to go get more coffee? Um, actually, I just ordered some, but I am going to oh, run good. to the restroom. All right. Here, I'll, I'll turn you down. And okay. Bye, guys. We'll, we'll see you in a few minutes yes. if you want. Yeah, I'll be okay. back in a okay. bit. Great. Craig Odom, everyone. At Odin. 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 Yes. Which in German means vast wasteland. Oh, uh, vast, <laughs> vast wasteland. <laughs> Craig, the vast wasteland. So, uh, just want to remind you guys, uh, we got I got another stream coming up in May. Let everybody know about our wonderful stream in May. Coming to you from Hard Times Billiards in Bellflower, California, the $5,000 added 10 ball open. You guys ready to rock? Play some 10 ball. And I want to thank my sponsor, Kamui. John Bertone and Kamui Tips and t Kamui Billiard Products. And also, I want to let you guys know that if you donate to POV Pool, uh, in order to help me continue streaming and providing you guys with free live streams and entertainment, you can you have an opportunity now to receive a free voucher for Kamui Tip uh, by donating $25 or more to Point of View Pool, POV Pool, on my website. Just go to povpool.com slash donate and you can donate $25 or more to uh, our streaming fund and I will mail you a 
Kamui tip voucher. Redeemable at any Kamui tip dealer in the United States. So think about it, guys. Support your local pool streamer. Or your not so local pool streamer. Deal. Send me a check from Philly to my P.O. Box. 144. In La Cañada, California. 90910121. Post office changed my zip code. Yep. La Cañada, California, 91012. That is POV Pool. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoy this rest of this match here. So just a quick update for you folks. We got a score of 2-1. Amar is ahead one game. It's a race of three. And uh, no ball count as of yet on this, on this game. Looking at a straight 10 ball. Great shot, but uh, not a huge reward for making that shot. It's basically only worth one ball. Beavers, do you have any tape? Yeah. This just came off.
right, Manny lays up, and I don't think this ball's bankable for Amar, so he's just going to think of a way to get this ball out out of reach and try to bring the cue ball up probably by the nine somehow. Uh, I would have liked to have gone up a little higher, but I don't think Manny's, well, he might see that 12-14 looks bankable to me, actually. That's right, Raftiel Combo Bank. The banks are open. Maybe he could supersize that combo. Ooh, I think the cue ball actually feathered against the 14 on the way over there. Thank you. We got operations. All right, so uh, I think this is a dead bank for, uh, oh, I didn't know he was blocked. Oh, good work with the cue ball. Oh. I didn't notice that he left the bank. I uh, wasn't looking. That did not work out the way Manny had wanted. And there we have it. It's kind of a case of uh, Manny having some opportunities, but not really taking, making the best of them. So Amar is going to come back to the table and probably try to nudge that eight ball out of way so he can open up the seven. And now he's even got a shot on the six. And I think probably what he'll do with this is carom the 12 down to the end rail. Leave himself a cut on the seven. And, uh, and then go for the 12 after the seven ball. So he's just gonna, he's just gonna carom this down. Oh, he hits a little harder, okay. Uh, I kind of like my shot, but... And back with me right now is Craig, the vast vast land. Yeah. How you doing, Craig? Uh, good, good, good. How we doing here? What I miss? Well, uh, it's two to one now. Amar is up, okay. and uh, one the ball one counts again. one one okay. right now. But um, Manny had a chance again wow. to like get a three or four ball run, and he just can't quite he dogged get it the going. second shot. Mm -hmm. He got made one ball and dogged the second shot. What's well, funny, you know, I always, uh, I always considered nine ball and ten ball uh, games of execution. Uh, in one pocket, you know, you're allowed to miss a little bit here and there. But in reality, it's almost more treacherous. And uh, the fragility of a run that you're on, knowing that if you miss a ball, you're going to pay, can yeah. get, can get yeah. in your head. 
without that. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, a lot of players don't know this, but the more you actually, you know, make the opponent wait, the more frustrated they get anyway. Oh, and, no. and, and the more likely goof. they're... Oh, man. Um, definitely, yeah. You know, definitely. The more likely they're gonna, they are to make a mistake. Definitely, yeah. sure. You know, there are times, though, too, that you have to know your opponent in some cases because, like, it, you know, you try to do that with Corey Duell, and he's, he's yeah. not going to... He'll take all week. Yeah. You know, you know. Well, I was fortunate when I grew up in Redwood City. Nick Varner used to come into town quite often because his wife's Tony's mom used to live in Redwood City. So whenever on the West Coast, he'd play. Uh -huh. And yeah, he was that way. He'd sit and watch paint dry. He doesn't care. Yeah. He'd knock all 15 balls in the corner, play one at a time. Yeah, yeah. But playing your opponent, definitely. It's it's a variable in the equation that, uh, that can allow you to pick up percentage points. You know, not not cheating or being underhanded, mm -hmm. but playing a specific way, definitely. Yeah. Okay, right, well. Good for Manny, he's making, now he's making a couple balls, which yeah. is good. Namar made another mistake, and eventually Manny's gonna get loose. Yeah, yeah. And that, uh, that can bode poorly for Namar. I think uh, that's number five. Yeah. We wanted to get a little straighter on that. that come down bank seven. That is five now of eight. But he'll, he'll come across and he'll, he'll either go into those balls or come down to oh, bank yeah. seven. I don't like that. I think yeah. he should have followed. He held it up a little bit more than he wanted to. Sunwell's probably still bankable. Automatic safe right here. Yeah. yeah that's a good oh, shot. He left a, no, he yeah, left a no, bank. No, he did. He left a one ball. He just hit it too hard. Yeah, he left an easy bank. And uh, he, he didn't keep the seven in play as much as he needed to. You know what, too? I think I think if he does bank this, he can, he he, can follow past he comes the eight the seven. and come around yeah. the other side Ex of the seven. Exactly, yeah. He hits this correctly. He can uh, he can go up 3-1. He's up 2-1, yes? Amar is? Yes, two games yeah, to one right yeah. now. He's got a chance here to go up three. Stay down, follow through. Okay, he doesn't come past the seven. He got the one though. Did he? Oh, I thought he did. Well, look where he left Manny. Yeah. Manny, this is do or die for Manny. This right is here. this is what you call applying direct pressure. Yeah, but Manny's gonna just make this. Yeah. All right, this is gonna put us at six five Manny in this game. Oh, he scratched. Oh my. Uh, do you think he tried to scratch? <laughs> no, or do you, no, no, there's no, no way he tried to oh, scratch. No. no, of course not. Not with the three and the eight there. He can exhale now though. Yeah, exactly. He's sitting there shaking his head, smiling at the chair. He knows he got away with a little bit there. Um, well, this seven ball is too railable. It's actually a good shot. Two rail to seven. Amar needs... Amar needs three of them. There he is. There is a kiss here. But it shouldn't be a problem. Thing about this shot, he's got to put a little pepper on it to get the cue ball out. Just a little. Oh, he hit it well. A little heavy. Mandy can get out of this. He's got to two reel this up by the side pocket with the cue ball there. Yeah, so you put so much pepper on it, you put that on a Mars. Or if he rolls that and puts that cue ball just below the side pocket on his side. Manny needs something he can fire at. He's got to put some, he needs to put some penalty on the table for a Mars, and right now there isn't any. Two rail the eight, three rail the three. No, that's insanity. I thought these were Brunswick's. Oh, wow. Well, he hit it pretty that, well. That could have been lethal. Well, yeah, you know, he took that 5 7 anything. He's in big trouble. Yeah. That could have been suicide. Mm -hmm. Suicide. That's a little, not bad. That's what Manny should have done with 7, I think. 
He needs to get something to distract Amar into making a mistake. bunting it right now. I'm walking to rail this ball. <clears throat> Just don't scratch. Again, that was risky. He didn't didn't take enough angle out of that. Yeah, he knows he was worried about scratching the side, I think, because it kind of looked like it wanted to. A little tester here. Yeah, yeah. He's got him in a bunt mode now. It's technically possible. I think my main concern here is just getting that cue ball stuck on that end rail. Yeah, you don't want to miss and leave any banks no, right now. Just throw it down there and it's get your cue too, ball taken care of. It's too close in the game. I don't think this three is going to go. Yeah, so you know, I would have been more conscious of the uh, cue ball. But look really at that. Just, no, that that's he's got just, heat. That's just fortunate right there. Maybe they can kick under this. Where if he gets him stuck down on that end rail, Take away half his cue ball. Brilliant. Look at this. He's going for the kick. I'm going for the bank. Eh, got that ball in play. I needed that. But, uh. Honestly, so this ball, Mark, probably might kick at that seven ball two rails. It's not a bad chance to think about. They're going to go rail first for the three. I don't know if I like this. You catch the wrong side of that three, you catch it full. You can really get hurt. Well, this is tough because... I'd kick two rails at seven. Send your cue ball back down table. Well, you got to put a lot of follow on it. Uh, yeah, this, That's is, what this is tough. This is tough. No, I like the side rail. Side rail, bottom rail, seven. Can what, put about, a what about, what about, I don't know, thin kicking it, rail first? And, and p bring the cue ball back up table. Mm. You know I like this. The, the key to this is getting to the bottom uh, rail. He's, he's no, got to get to going, the bottom rail. He's going back. He's kicking. Yeah. This if way. he doesn't get to the bottom rail, you can be in trouble. But if he gets to the bottom rail, it'll be okay. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> oh, I was talking about a kick the other way from. Well, anyway, that's just one of my crazy Daniel shots. Yeah, there you go. Well, see that again. There, that was a more just having the shot and then not being natural with it. I don't mean to talk bad about his game because his game's beautiful. Uh, but that was one where he's got his foot on the throat and you got it. Oh, well, Manny's just going to give it to him. Although he didn't just give it to him. Tough combo. Might bank six here. Spanky79 back in the chat room. You have been promoted. <laughs> Welcome back. Sitting here with uh, uh, Craig Odin, uh, aka the Vast uh, Vast The Vast Vast Lad. <laughs> Do they call you that? No, no, no. <laughs> Not to my face. Not to <laughs> my face. <laughs> what do you mean, Rock Teal? These, these guys stink. stink. I don't know, man. They're pretty uh, strong. Yeah, I think they're fishing. That's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're just, waiting for you to come over. They're poking the bear. <laughs> All right, well, Mar needs three more. Yep, he needs three of them. He wants to do some... Yeah, Amar needs one ball. 
And, uh, uh, no, Marnie needs, uh, he needs three of them. Oh, he needs three now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's right. It was uh, yeah, Manny that Manny was needs, Manny needs two now. I only want to get a little higher. Yeah. Well, I just want to cinch this bank. Could try to kill it. He, he needs to make this ball. Yeah, just cinch this ball. And that was good speed, I'll tell you that. I don't I don't even care if it doesn't go. No, that, that was fine. Speed. That was fine. Yeah, it was tough to hold that cue ball for the seven. <clears throat> Manny says no. Uh, Manny, Manny decides to scratch, huh? Yeah, he takes the penalty. Right, so the ball count coming Looks right like up. Six, six, to, six, six five, five, six yeah. five tomorrow. Well, we can do a couple things. You can do your standard draw, which is probably the right shot. You're gonna hit the six, draw it off, try to get down below the seven, just see where everything shakes out. Mm-hmm. A chance you can make that 15. Looks like Scott Frost and Diego are done. And ideally, just floats this, floats this down to about half diamond, falls under the seven. Oh, well, he drew it. Also, a good way to play it. He hit it pretty good. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, uh, good shot, good shot. Well, this is tough. Hey, bank the six in the 15, cross bank the 15 into the eight, you're out. Uh, it's just that easy. Well, uh, that that'll work, that'll work. Yeah. Pretty much all he could do there, and he got he got he got away. Mm -hmm. So that was good. He wants to three rail that six, but it doesn't look quite right. The best thing for him to do is just get that seven ball locked up. He's got the ball count lead. Get it to where you got two balls in play, and then play that way. Got a two one lead. Staring at a three one lead. Again, just want to bank this up table and freeze that cue ball to the side rail. Unless he goes for the three row on the seven, which I don't think he will. Too aggressive. He wants that three rower. Yeah. Well, he can win if he makes it, but I don't like the angle. Yeah, he's just got to get this out, freeze him to the side rail, and grind it out. There you go. Of course, that's not what I would have done, but I think that was the smart shot. <laughs> No, he wanted three or all that six. Wasn't the right shot. And Manny needs to try to develop some kind of position. Took care of his cue ball. It's what he needs to do. It's amazing how uh, freezing the cue ball to the rail. No matter where you are, you take away two thirds of that cue ball. It makes the simple shots more difficult. Yeah, well, that's true. That's you know something I like I say I watch Efren anything I can find with Efren playing and he's just so good at it. And he's gonna try to two rail it, but there's a scratch if he catches it full. Uh, he wanted a wanted a little rub, didn't quite get it. All right, he's got a bank. I think you just want to stay down and hit this one as pure as you can. Mm -hmm. In a perfect world, to freeze him up behind the seven. 
Actually, in a perfect world, he gets by the seven, he can bank it next. But I like him. Now see if he's on the frozen on the rail. This is not so easy, but he's got room to work. He can get comfortable. Whoa, man, he's got speed down nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that hit that nice. excellent. Hit another half a quick would have been perfect. He banked seven. He still banked seven. But he got a little cut to it now, but that was a nice shot. Seven down, one to go for Amar. Uh, I don't like what he did there. That was very passive. It was a weird shot. It was a very strange shot. I think he was between, yeah. between ideas. Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. It's like Lucy from Peanuts said, I'm never wrong. I thought I was wrong once, but I was incorrect. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Right, well, again, bankable ball. Just wants to kill it a little bit, get down the kiss. Put a good stroke on it. And it then, hit it then. This ball's bankable. Pretty well. Need another another dash of paprika on it. But he got his cue ball nice and I'm pretty sure he's gonna get this ball. Yeah. Yeah. Roberts, your garlic yeah. fries are ready. Mm, garlic fries. <laughs> Lamar should just give him this, lay the cue ball down the end rail. He made a nice bank, take your lick. Lamar's got seven. This is going to give Manny six. Well, he's taking it out. Nice. That nice was a work. nice take out. That was good work. He had a little more room than I thought, but that was a very nice shot. Lamar's, Lamar's catching his game a little bit here. He's got amazing finesse. Yeah, just well, beautiful. Lamar, uh, you know, unfortunately for Manny, He's been giving enough chances to Omar to really kind of like yeah, ease into yeah. this match. Yeah, and he's uh, he's he's had his uh, proverbial foot on the throat, just yeah. hasn't been able to step. Yeah, and it's not that's not a place you want Omar to be in. Not that I'm condoning you know. that, kids. Huh? Not that I'm condoning stepping on people's necks. <laughs> you can two rail this ball. Now yeah, he's he's going into passive mode. And that's a little too passive. This ball's. A two rail will fit. I mean, you can get silly and try to cross back it and make the five, but that's a little aggressive. What a long. Well, you know, he's forcing Manny to, to just shoot at everything right now. Well, Lamar's got the game right where he wants it. Yeah. They got two balls in holes, and he's playing one ball, one pocket. Absolutely. Yeah, Manny uh, needs to find a way to get those balls back in play somehow. Marsh just banked this up the rail soft. Nothing fancy. Well, he went aggressive. I don't know. He's leaving him something. Well, yeah, I think it floated it, up high enough to, <laughs> yeah. to play keep away, but actually yeah. he's got a two-rail right He's got right the two-rail. I think Amar got a little bored there and decided to fire yeah. at something. Yeah. Scratch? Oh, 15 uh, safe. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was that was lucky. Uh, you know, I mean... Yeah, no, actually... He could have rolled behind the 15 and still yeah. scratched. And where the, where the seven ball ended up, he's glad he didn't make it because Amar would have had a free shot. Exactly. But he does want to get that 15 and 5 back in play. This ball can double kiss if he doesn't hit it good. I need to get a line on a couple of matches. Uh, any other matches anybody else need to know about? Or game, or players in this? 
And don't say all of them. <laughs> I'm coming a little short with it. Match and I know plays at seven o'clock mm. real soon. And Machin did win his first uh, yeah. match against uh, what's Cod Jim Ka Joe Kanim. I didn't know who he was playing. I think uh, Jerry plays Joe. good. Jerry's Ka a grinder. Or Jim. Yeah, Jerry's a good player. Yeah, he's owner a of Sticks Billiards in mm -hmm, Ventura. Mm -hmm. a nice guy. Very nice guy. A, a yeah. True, true fan of the game. Yeah, I ran into him actually in the. Uh, Breakfast lounge at the uh, hotel this no, morning. Nice. You wait. staying across the street? Yep. Don't look yeah, across nice you here. Really yeah, nice, nice hotel uh, for the for the locale. You know, sure. Right across the street. Yes. Well, what's he gonna do, Mar? Probably just gonna play this ball cross cross table. Get the cue ball down here. Are he is he kick banking it? Let's see if he is. I don't like it because he's gonna make 15, and he don't want to make the 15. He's got the table set up nice. I think he's exercised a little more patience. Especially when, when you're up 2 1. 3 1's huge compared to 2 2. Very important game. Yeah, didn't like it. Yeah. Too aggressive. Yeah. He should have just clipped it and come down table. All right, well. He's just going to pocket this. Not a bad idea. Get the ball back in play. And now he's got to dodge a bullet. one in the chat room asking about Bo Runnigan. I tell you what, I wish he was. Hmm. Uh, Bo is a fantastic uh, player. Absolutely. And reminds me a lot of Johnny Archer when he was young, younger, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, as far as playing style. Yeah, can get it done. Uh, and Bo has a lot of potential. I really, I really would like to see Bo competing a lot more in the near future. In fact, I'm, I'm trying to get in touch with him and, and get, a, uh, get a line on him for the Hard Times 10-ball event because I, I know he should play that event mm -hmm. uh, in Bellflower coming up May 4th through 6th. Now, have you heard anything about this uh, North-South challenge uh, with the Hard Times? Um, Tony Torres Tony Torres and I were, were discussing a potential... Yeah, you he know, mentioned it to me, and I, I haven't we've, heard anything of it. We've sent a couple it. emails uh, back and forth uh, mm -hmm. about uh, uh, talking about cultivating some type of sure. a north-south matchup. I like uh, it. Uh, but the last we've really spoken about it was, uh, I think, like four four months ago. Nothing really has, no movement yet, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's because, of you know, we have to really look at the whole calendar year and figure out where it would all fit. Exactly. You know? and well, we've been... Uh, Watching Amar and Manny bat these balls around. Manny's actually improved the table. Got the five ball back in play. Yeah, and uh, you know Amar needs to Amar needs to close this out. He can try bank the. Uh, he's he's he getting past it. Oh, I don't want to make there that ball. Go. Now that's uh, that's what you want to do. Uh, that's really don't what sneeze. You want to do. <clears throat> he's gonna. He's just yeah. Did oh, that Marcy. seven ball move? Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just rubbed it. Well, he can go for this bank if he wants. I don't know. Hey, you know, I, I might just roll the seven into the fifteen. You know, put your cue ball next to the five. Well, he didn't want to make anything. All right. <coughs> uh, yeah, I was asking. Uh, 
uh, Craig Odin about that, uh, whether or not Amar learned from his cousin Tony. With Tony, yeah. Uh, and um, I'm sure quite a bit cool from Tony. Cool Junkie uh, is, uh, I guess you're stating that as fact, so. <laughs> yeah, well, the, Tony and Amar are, you know, hand in hand. You know, they're very close. Yeah. They're both brilliant players. Slightly different, st more styles. You know, Tony's very, uh, Tony's really almost like he doesn't care, but he just plays phenomenally. You know, Omar's more of a thinker. Thank you. Uh, yeah. But they're both jam up players. Tony does things that you're just not supposed to be able to do. When I, uh, when I was up at Hollywood, the guy's just bunting the balls here. Uh, Grady Matthews came into town for three or four days, and he played. This is mm. my goodness, mm. 99, 2000, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and he played Tony some races, the three for 500 a set. And they played three of them, mm. and Tony won all three in about an hour and a half. And Tony shot every circus shot I've ever seen, and he nailed every shot that he pulled the trigger on. It was wow. one of the most disgusting wow. things I've ever seen. I feel bad for Grady. Grady had no chance. Mm. And you've been talking Grady, too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I every like once in show. a while, you know, the champ, the, the king of the mountain uh, gets knocked off sure. for a little while by the new kid on the block, sure. you know? And uh, yeah, Grady was a great player. Grady was real fast and loose, but he was a wonderful, wonderful man and a great ambassador. He'll be missed. I have some great stories from his trip, which I can't relay over here, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I he was a kick. This. Oh, no. Yeah. This is a what, do you, what do you think this is? Uh, well, I'll use different this words. This, uh, uh, yeah. Nickelodeon we're, we're on? Funny. Right ah, I'm just kidding. Well, when, uh, Let's Mar talk to me. Yeah, Mark Mar Mar <laughs> Mar Mar uh, Mar might go for this bank here. Uh, yeah, Grady was in town with his wife, Randy, who was a very nice woman. It's a school teacher, like very quiet, very polite, very Midwestern. Uh, and we were at dinner one night, and we were talking about his book, Bed High and Kiss Low, which in the first chapter he talks about being in San Francisco and going to Cochran's, which was now Hollywood. And he, he meets a girl, and, you know, they takes her home, they take a shower, and da-da-da. And I guess Randy's wife had typed the book for him. She edited it. <laughs> and, uh, and like I said, she's very polite, very mild-mannered. We're okay. sitting at dinner, and we're talking about it. I said, yeah, yeah, the first chapter's a little racy. Yeah. And then Randy goes to Grady. She goes, uh, she didn't use these words. She says, you know, you made love to that girl for seven pages, and you never made love to me for more than three. <laughs> Which, like I said, she's explicative. So, oh, my wow. goodness. Funny. Made my jaw drop. Well, that story wasn't so bad. No. Well, like I said, I didn't swear. Going for the three railer, went along. No, well, they're still bunting him around. But Manny has definitely improved the table. He's gotten everything back in play, which is what he needed to do. That's true, but it's still three balls we're talking about. He's Yeah, see that's the that's the thing. If he's gonna go for a ball, he needs to make it. Yeah. He just can't he cannot come close. Because that's gonna be a Mars chance to turn the rack right back around. Certainly. Do you have the keys or do I? The car keys? No, no, take the car if you want to. But bring me my jacket, which is in the car. Thank you. That was a real nice play there. Yep. Uh, just so you, go, you know, guys, in case uh, you don't know how to read or if you're in full screen, we are going to have a match after this at 7.30, or I believe, no, 7 o'clock. 7. And that'll be uh, on this table that you're watching right now. Jose Perica versus Gus Briseno, which I don't know much about. No, I don't, who know, I don't Gus, know much no. about. And on the, on the opposite table here, the Fast Lenny stream table, will be Jeff Gregory, a local player mm. to uh, uh, Mountain View, San Jose area here, versus Rodney Morris. Mm. Jeff's a good friend of mine. I've played many, many hours with Jeff. Uh, and he Very can nice play. guy. Very Jeff's nice a great guy. guy. He's uh, commentated with me a couple times. Yeah. No, he's a real jerk. I mean, no, he's, he's a good guy. <laughs> Known him many years. 
And he's a good one fucking player. He uh, he might give Rodney all he can handle. Yeah. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for those matches at seven o'clock. And I believe that might be the last official match of the day. I think. Uh, uh, so, by all means, you know, folks, we might get some action. Uh, in fact, I should start finding out about that as soon as possible. Wow, I watched see if there's any action ball. going on. I've heard a bunch of chirping. Uh, we'll see if it turns into anything. I should have everybody officially report any action to uh, our tournament direction. It's Kenny, nice. To, and by, by the way, I want to thank. Uh, <laughs> is it? Uh, yeah, it's Janet. Janet uh, Okamoto. And, uh, Okamoto and Ken Schumann yes. for doing a wonderful job today so far. And also Chris Swart. Mm, of, yeah. Uh, you guys running this tournament. Yeah, I'm putting the money up. Definitely Very nice. Hats off to them. And, uh, you know, couldn't pick, couldn't have picked better people to run a tournament. Yeah. And uh, uh, like I said, they do a really good job of uh, everything they do. Yeah, the uh, equipment is jam up. Yeah, and the You're not going to find better. Dominguez is uh, for, you know, doing such a great job on the equipment. Mars going for the kill. Looks pretty good. Uh, short, uh, short. Yeah, short. Yeah, pretty everything's short. coming a little short on the banks. Well, uh, Manny's Manny's got a chance here. I think he's got to go. What do you think about the f seven five combo? I that way he's he's safe uh, off the one. That's true. You can't can play safe. He's probably gonna go back up and down. Try to get for that seven. Yeah. Uh, no, well, no. Uh, you know what? I like the seven yeah, one okay, com no. the seven five combo much better. Yeah, it is. A, it was a much safer poke at it because he he, he could play it two rails and get in front of the behind the one ball. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They were even just float it one rail to the side rail. Yeah. It's a pretty safe shot. But then again, you know. I'm yeah. not. Uh, I'm not Manny Chow. No, I'm not a Mark Hang, No, so. and I, I don't. I don't question either of their abilities or uh, their knowledge because they're both fantastic players. Easy to do from the seat. Lamar's going to try to just make this ball. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, just a moment. And there it is. Three to one, Lamar. I think. Yeah, right that's back. that's it. Okay. Oop, they left me behind the wheel. Heaven help us all. All right, three to one, Amar. No, man, he did good there. He got the balls back in play. Uh, didn't like that last choice. Although that five ball is real pocketable, come back down for the seven. Like I said, the playing the the seven five combo and either going for it or just laying your cue ball up on the side rail. Either way, probably was the best decision. It was too bad because he worked hard to get the table back in his favor. Not in his favor, but get the table back to where he could do something. And, uh, and then he got a shot and it didn't happen. But that uh, that happens. Sure, yeah, sure. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Too bad you can't be here. Great venue. A lot of great players here. I mean, when you look around, you see John Schmidt. Goodness, Scott Frost. What other champions do I see? I got my back to most of the people. There's Francisco Bustamante. He's easy. Uh, a lot of great pool. Dan Louis here. A lot of great pool being played. All right. Mars up 3 1. His break. As uh, the great Roger Stowe would say, the betting window is open. <laughs> Three one Amar. Uh, Fifteen come out. Well, that's that's not what he wanted. All right. Well, he come out and try to hit that 10, knock the 14, 12 off the 11. And he's going to get the 3. Right on. I think he can play this a couple ways. He can float down under the 1. Float down in. I would probably float down under the 1, try and knock it up a little bit, play the 2 next. Play the bank on the 13, then the 1, something like that. A couple of those balls don't look bad in the stack. Let's see, he's got to get... Got to go forward a little bit. 
a little bit of uh, left hand English so you get under the one coming off it. Now again, very easy for me to say from here. Mm, nice guy to watch his cue ball. Gotta watch cue ball. Oh, he made a ball. Well, he got lucky. Yeah, it's very easy on that shot to have that cue ball squirt out like it did there. He didn't make that ball. He's in big trouble. But he did, so he's not. What's he? Uh, not sure what he's got planned here. Sorry, I'm laughing my mic. Doesn't look like 10 balls on or the 11. 11 ball might be on. He's looking at it. He's looking at the 14. A tough angle to see exactly from here. Gotta watch his cue ball. Well, if he can get to that 14, I don't like it. But if he can't get to the 14, not bad. Although that five ball's in a tough spot. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, if he's got room, I think he should just go here. Make the bank, do what you can. It's a good shot. What he's got here. 12-8, you can't tell. I mean, yeah, you could two-rail that five, bring him right back on top of that 13. But if this is a very makeable shot, it's what he should be doing. But if he doesn't like it, yeah, two-rail that five, stick him on back or something. You got him 3-1. Last thing you want to do right now is give him any air. It's a good shot. All right, Lamar looks good. This match might be over. Well, looking at my phone, it looks like well, at least one person's listening. Thank you, darling. Uh, yes, I told the Grady story, but I didn't swear. So it's not as good. You got to swear. Lamar looks good. He should be out here. What does he got? Uh, looks like Manny's got three sides. So Mars got three as well. And then they're all right there. He's just got to pick the right pattern. Come back for the seven. And he's sticking with the six. Well, if the 12 goes, six, one, 12, seven, maybe. Six, nine, eleven. Yeah, he's going, coming back. I guess he's going to the twelve next. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I may have flowed down for the one there. But again, easy for me to say from the seats. Yeah, get up. Yeah, just enough. And that, my friend, should be all all she wrote. Well, I played seven, so I'm gonna go hit some balls. Have a couple stiff drinks. And there you go. Lamar Kang beats Manny Chow four to one. Good shoot, Lamar. Good match. All right. Uh, so who we got up next? I can't remember who he said. It's Perika versus Gus, and I don't know Gus, but it should be a good match. Uh, thanks for listening. I don't know where uh, Daniel went. They left me here solo. Bust into my karaoke. No, we don't want that. All right, so we've got about a 35-minute wait, and we'll have our next match. Uh, good shooting tomorrow. Very nice. Yeah, that was a good match. Uh, both guys played good. A little tentative at points, but they made some nice uh, shots. Yeah, Many had some opportunities to let slip through his fingers, but uh, 
don't count on him to keep doing that. I know he's going to take advantage next time. Uh, hopefully I don't see him any time in the future because uh, after that match, he's going to be ready to play. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to sign off for now. Uh, I don't know if Daniel wants dead air or not. So uh, let's see who we got sitting around. We got James Duvall's, a.k.a. Salt. Anybody uh, that's an old-timer in the San Francisco Bay Area knows him. Uh, great player, great stake man, great gambler. Uh, has been around for 50 years. Knows everybody. Known them all since they were kids. Marshall Williams coming in. There's George Michaels. Uh, Chris McDonald, Josh Palmer. A lot of great players. Memo, another great name from this area from... In the Wayback Machine. Well, Melo's got to be almost 80 now, I think. Still plays good one pocket. This man's got a lot of knowledge. There's Perica discussing something with Santos. I'm probably trying to figure out how to hit a stop shot. I'm telling him, don't worry, keep practicing. You'll get it, guys. There's Eric Krause, another great local player. All right, I'll be right back. All right, well, uh, holy crap, that's over. And guess what that means, folks? We're going to be taking a 20-minute uh, break or so, and we're going to start the next match at 7 o'clock. It's going to be... Jose Perica versus Gus Rizzano. And I want to thank uh, Craig Odin for coming on the stream and commentating that match. The Mark Hang and Manny Chow. And uh, that's going to put Manny Chow to the one last side. So uh, stay tuned, guys. You're watching POV Pool on either the AZ Pilliards channel or you're watching on Ustream or you're watching on my website. Thanks a lot for uh, joining us today. And uh, we got another match coming up for you. I'm, I'm going to let you guys know about any other... Any additional... Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're good. I was on... Oh, okay. All right, so, yeah, once again, that was... Uh, that was a Mark Kang and Manny Chow. We're going to have another match coming up for you in about half an hour, so probably like 25 minutes. So stay tuned. 7 o'clock, the next match starts, and I will be right back. I'm going to take a quick break, and I'm going to be back with you in about five or six minutes to, uh, uh, to uh, keep you guys company, all right? Thanks. Yeah, it's good.